Hey everyone, this is Rick from Montana Outlaw Barbecue, and today we're gonna to make bison berries. So you guys are probably wondering, what's a bison berry? Well, I know a bison berry is actually a plant, but this is Montana Outlaw's take of a bison berry. So today we're using ground bison from Rocky Mountain Natural Meats, actually from Henderson, Colorado. So we're pretty excited to use this product. So what we do is we take a jalapeno pepper and we want to core them because we all know that the seeds are where the heat's at. So it's just real simple, just get in here and core them out, get the seeds out. A lot of times, so I'll slice them a little gently area down one side. That way I can open it up and get to these seeds out. And this will make them much more palatable because they are spicy. So we'll do it, get these done real quick. This is super simple. You can actually do this the night before and have all this stuff, just wrap them up in cellophane and they'll be perfect to put on the grill when you're ready. Okay, we'll get the seeds out. Slice in here and like that. Okay, we have our pepper jack cheese sticks. We're just gonna come in half. We're gonna take the pepper jack cheese, stuff them in the peppers. It's like we don't have enough heat in them already, we need to put some pepper jack, but you know what? This one will be a great appetizer. All right, cheese in it. We'll take some of this ground bison. I like to make like a little patty of it. Put the jalapeno in it and just roll it up and seal it up. You want to seal it up tight, otherwise that cheese is going to melt. This one's a little long, I'm going to cut a little bit of this cheese off. And just seal it up. See at this point, bison's about 90% lean, so there's a lot of fat in bison. This player package anyway, so it'll be, there you go, there's one. So we'll just do all six of these. You'll, you'll realize this is really similar to a Scottish egg. So if you don't remember that particular video, there's a link right above me right now you can click on. And the major difference, of course, is we have a jalapeno here instead of a soft boiled egg. And of course, the scotch eggs, we use sausage. And in this particular product, we're using ground bison, which is cool. I, actually, you can find ground bison. I found this particular one at Costco, so uh, it's readily available. Today, we're gonna use Montana Outlaw Beef Rub. Typically, I would tell you on a small piece of meat to put it on lightly. But on this particular instance, we're gonna put it on really heavy because we got the, all that spice in there. We got the pepper jack cheese. We have the jalapenos. So we need to balance that out with some, some rub. And this has you know, mostly salt and pepper paprika, but it does have a little bit of sugar in it. So it'll help cut a little bit of that heat. So we're gonna put it on really heavy. Like I say, heavier than we normally, I would normally tell you to do on a, you would never put it this heavy on a burger certainly but on this <laughs> we're gonna put it on heavy all right so there we go it's ready to go on the grill and we're gonna put it right on the grill about 300 degrees and let it smoke and we're gonna leave it on the grill it's probably gonna be about an hour we want that internal temperature to be 160 for two reasons once obviously we want the, the bison to be fully cooked at 160 but we want that cheese to be melted inside, so when you bite into it or cut into it, you get that sensation of the cheese just melting in your mouth. Well, the bison berries are off the grill now. Uh, you say the color is great, they smell amazing. Uh, they cook for about an hour and a half, 250 degrees. All we have left now to do is slice them open and see how they look. All right, slice them open. What's left is the taste test. The smoke from the camp of the uh, can. This is over the top. It's really good. You'll notice that the bison burger is a fairly lean cut of meat, even at 90%. But so it's not greasy. It's dry. The cheese is really creamy in there. And of course, the jalapeno is a flavor all its own. So it's really a great snack. 
Great appetizer. So this is a very easy dish to make. Delicious. Thanks again for coming and watching our videos. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell button. Please check our other socials as well. Thanks for coming. Rick Lish is out. We'll see you next time.